Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Flynn and I am the owner and maker of Flynn Sisters Boutique and I am so excited to show you this tutorial. This is a new product. I've never seen anything like this. My girl Sarah from Banff Custom Creations has this new transparent vinyl kind of situation. Now I know what you're thinking, transparent vinyl, we've seen this before, no. This is transparent vinyl that has been printed with opaque printing. So the images on this clear vinyl are completely like not see-through. So we can put them on anything. I'm gonna show you what I mean in this video, but this product really does unlock a lot of possibilities for us that we couldn't do previous or would be really difficult to achieve with traditional vinyl products or water slide. So I'm really looking forward to showing you guys how I use these products and the designs that I've come up with. I love this product so much that I made two videos about it. Um, and I'm excited to show you the other one too. And I hope you guys love this. I'm gonna have all the products that you see listed and linked down below in the description box. You're gonna find some discount codes for you there as well, of course. So that's enough chit chat for me. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so we're starting with a fully prepped and sanded cup as usual, and I've already gone ahead and spray painted it this beautiful neon yellow as our base color. This is from Montana Cans. It's infra yellow. Then we're gonna use some Eileen's Tacket over and over glue. I'm gonna have this link down below in the description box. This is a glue that stays tacky once it's dry, and I'm going to mix three parts glue, one part water, I probably got mine a little too watery, but whatever. <laughs> and we're going to mix it till it's no longer lumpy. Okay, we want like a fairly looser consistency. The glue itself is pretty thick. All right, and then once I have this all mixed up, I'm going to apply it all over my cup using one of those really nice Mod Pod brushes. I've also got a small space heater that you can see kind of in the bottom corner of our frame here. Uh, I just want that heater to be blowing on my cup as I'm applying this so that it's drying as I'm brushing it on to avoid brush strokes uh, from the glue, okay? So the goal here is to get everything very smoothly applied, very evenly applied. We don't want any streaks or lines in our application. This Mod Pod brush really helps with that, okay? So this stuff dries fairly quickly, especially when we've got the space heater on it. And as soon as it's completely dry and clear, we're ready to apply our glitter. Today, we're gonna be using Lemon Heads from Peachy Olive Glitters. It's a beautiful, bright neon yellow. I absolutely love it. And we're just gonna let it rip all over the entire cup. You don't really need to have like insane coverage here or just pile the glitter on just enough to cover everything nice and evenly. All right, and then once we've got our glitter all applied here, I'm just going to press it flat with my fingers and we can use bare fingers. We don't need a glove to do this. In fact, I don't think you wanna use a glove. Uh, the goal here is to get all of our glitter to lay flat so that we're left with this really cool, shiny, iridescent finish, okay? This is called Tacket Method. Definitely nothing new. I did not come up with this method, uh, but I just love this look for this kind of project because I thought it would make for a really kind of different and fun background against the images that we're going to use later. So as soon as I get all of my glitter smoothed down completely as well as I can, we're going to go back over this with a second coat and we're going to apply the second coat exactly how we applied the first coat, okay? Again, using that same Mod Pod brush, I'm just going to brush this glue and water mixture all over my cup and apply our glitter and then lay it flat to dry again. Don't forget to get your space heater out on this glue application so that it dries quicker. And this Tacket glue never really fully quote unquote dries, I guess, it just stays tacky, okay, that's the point. All right, and so then once we have those two coats of Tacket Method glitter on there, we're ready to put on our first coat of epoxy. Right, 
And so for this first coat of epoxy, I've got about 30 milliliters of Illumilite's regular formula. This is just the amazing clear cast. And I'm going to apply it right over my Tacket Method glitter. Uh, as soon as you're done, like you don't need to let that Tacket Method glitter dry for any period of time because it's already pretty much dry when we applied the glitter. Okay. And I don't like to seal these. I just go straight for epoxy. It works out just fine for me. I let that coat of epoxy dry for about 8 to 12 hours and I was ready to move on to my sanding, which I didn't need to do a lot of sanding. The glitter was pretty much already smooth. So I'm just going to sand my rim like I normally would to expose a fine line of stainless steel. And that's where my final coats of epoxy are going to adhere to to create the seal for our tumbler. After sanding, I just rinsed off my carp with some dish soap and water and then dried it off completely with paper towels. And now we're ready for this decal process. This decal that you're looking at here is one of Sarah's uh, tumbler cows or sticker cows, I think she calls them. And this is a clear decal that has opaque printed images on it. Okay, that means those images on that clear decal are not see-through. I've done a review on these before. We've used them in a couple tutorials now. Absolutely love these. And my idea for this project was I wanted to have this sticker cowl in as the focal point of our design. And then I would apply the pattern all around it to like complement this decal. I loved how these both work together. And I think this is something that is so brilliant that Sarah's doing is doing these coordinating sets where you have the sticker cowl and then you have a coordinating pattern. So it makes designing a tumbler just an absolute breeze. All right, so we measured twice, we cut once, and we're applying the sticker cowl using hinge method as usual, smoothing it out and leaving that paper backing on as I'm smoothing out for as long as I can to create a bubble free finish, okay? Next, to apply the surrounding pattern, I kind of want to measure like the length of my cup and then I want to trim up my pattern piece uh, so I don't waste that kind of salvaged end there. I want to save that for something else. So I'm going to set that aside. I cut this to the length of my tumbler and right now I'm just kind of wrapping it around to get a feel for how this is going to fit onto the cup. All right. Now, this is again the clear printed vinyl okay so it's totally clear it's glossy but the images that are printed onto it are matte and completely opaque so we can put this on dark surfaces light surfaces we can apply it to anything okay now it's also a seamless pattern as well at least this one was and so I decided that I would match up either end of the pattern here so it would be seamless along the back uh, and then from there, I sort of just cut and applied the pieces around the cup where they made sense. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> All right. And this pattern is totally forgiving because it's clear. We can just kind of cut out bits at a time and sort of piece it together however we want on the tumbler. We can also edit out parts of the pattern as well if we wanted to. All right, and so then once I got those back panels, you know, applied nicely and the seams lined up perfectly, I, I started on the remainder of the cup, just sort of piecing together the pattern as I went, applying smaller sections at a time so it wasn't so overwhelming to, you know, transfer a large panel because it was just going to get messy. <laughs> okay. Uh, I also could have done a better job lining the pattern up at the top rim. You could see that I kind of have a bit of a gap there. Uh, forgive me, this is my first time. I just did the best that I could, uh, but whatever. I, th I think it looks cool. So anyway, I also wanted to have sort of an offset around the sticker cowl. So when I applied the pieces that went around the sticker cowl, I just sort of used the overlapping seam as my guide and trimmed around the sticker cowl with my craft knife. 
This part seems a lot harder than it actually was, but really, I mean, if you guys could see it in real life, you'll definitely see a very clear outline through that overlapping piece of vinyl there. So it was pretty easy to do. This is a really forgiving pattern. So it was super easy to, you know, cut out that outline and then you'll just peel up that uh, remaining piece of vinyl there and it will not uh, disturb the sticker cowl underneath which was a total bonus absolutely love how this worked out so basically all we did was continued that process all the way around the cup piecing together this pattern sort of like a puzzle and trimming off any unnecessary pieces of vinyl or you know kind of filling in here and there wherever it made sense all right I will say that even though this stuff was really easy to work with, it does not reposition well. So once it's on there, it's on there, okay? The sticker cowls do reposition a little bit better than the clear vinyl. Uh, I did notice on some that I might have had to pull up a little bit. It did leave sort of like, not a mark, it just kind of got a little foggy in that part that I had to pull up on it from. So definitely be sure of where you want this to go <laughs> before you place it down. Uh, but it was super easy to do. I mean, you guys, this is just like playing with stickers, okay? So once we got done, you can, you can epoxy right over the top of this. These do not need to be sealed. They are solvent resistant. So I've got like 20 milliliters of epoxy here and I'm just going to apply it like I normally would. I let this coat dry for about six hours and then I went right over the top of it with a second coat and that ended up being my final coat and I was done. I mean, so you guys, like this was so simple and easy to do. Again, I love the coordinating patterns with the sticker cowls that she's coming up with. It makes putting together a design so simple and easy. All right, and so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought down below in the comments. And if you like this video, please be sure to give us a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I upload videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon. And a big thank you to all of our Flynn Sisters exclusive members. Thank you for your pledge. Your support means the world to our channel. If you love this video, you could check out our last video here. Also be sure to find us on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and of course subscribe for all our new videos that come out every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.